We were chugging out of the mountains and into the foothills. That damn black zeppelin was back again. Not that it had ever gone away, but they weren't just matching the speed of the train. They were now closer than ever. I figured they planned to blast away at me with some kind of weird rays. I'd been moving along the side of the train. It was pulling about a hundred cool cars, but they don't call it coal here, they call it cool. It looks like coal, maybe a little more purplish, but it still comes in lumps. The Black Zeppelin was getting awfully close. They had unwrapped something shiny and was pointed at me. We were in the open now. I edged around the side of the cool hopper. The Zeppelin seemed to move with me, and then they opened up. Is that some kind of Gatling ray gun? They're spraying the whole damn train. I never thought this was how it would end, my being sizzled by some stupid ray gun. That's when I decided it was time to get the hell off the train. The Hoochie Coochie Club was a cabaret down on the waterfront. It was built on a pier that jutted out into the harbor. When I stepped inside, I felt like I was stepping back into some black and white movie that was set in old Berlin. Up on the stage were a line of long-legged fishnets stocking the hot coochie coochie girls wearing high heels, top hats, and very little else. I had dressed for the occasion. I was wearing my Burberry trench coat and my favorite bogey fedora. I felt right at home among those little pink tushies and their hoochie hoochie coochies. The number ended, the girls scooted off the stage. I leaned back against the bar and took in the terrain. The bartender came over. What do you have? Bourbon, straight. Is that all? Well, I wouldn't mind one of those long-legged cuties. Which one? How about the blonde with the bob cut? That's Lulu. I'll get her. A minute later, the bartender set down my bourbon. Just as I was about to take a sip, a satiny blonde slid down on the seat next to me. Hello. Wie geht es Ihnen? I'm fine. How about you? Ich bin gut. Danke. My name is Taru. TJ Taru. My name is Lulu. Just Lulu? Just Lulu. Yeah, I like that name. But you know, you look a little femme fatalish. Are you Lulu? <laughs> Femme fatale? <laughs> Nicht, nein, nein. Ah, I'll bet. Listen, sweetheart. <sighs> when I said the code word sweetheart, Lulu gave a little shiver. <sighs> She closed her eyes. <sighs> We cannot speak here. Meet me at Café Bilderbuch. Midnight. Where's that? On Akazienstraße. Midnight, all right? On a cut in Strasse. All right. Midnight. Good. I will see you then. Yeah. Sure. See you later, sweetheart. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Victoria Moon has some pretty weird trees. Some of them do look like trees, you know, branches, leaves, that sort of thing. But most of them are prickly looking like some giant cacti, don't screw with me kind of tree. They grew about 100 feet high, and that's where we were headed, right into the forest of those strange cacti trees. The train was headed up another grade. I figured now's a good time to hop off. I landed running, and I kept running. I was doing my best to present a moving target. The black zap was following me right behind, still trying to riddle me as I zigzagged through the forest of giant cacti. But most of their gatling zaps were getting hung up in the branches above. Those trees were really tough. They had skins like steel. The black zap would have to get a lot closer to get me. And that's what they were doing, dropping down just above the treetops so they could spray the whole damn forest if they had to. And then I noticed something above them. I'd forgotten all about them. Apparently they had too. It was Captain Stokey and the Gypsy Queen. I didn't know what he was trying to do. He was no match for the Black Zep. 
If they saw him, they'd fry him on the spot. But they were so intent on sizzling me, they didn't see the Gypsy Queen settling down on top of their gas bags. As the Black Zepp descended just above the treetops, they must have seen there was another Zeppelin above them, pushing them down. They were trying to get their guns pointed up at the Gypsy Queen, but the Black Zepp's gas bags were in the way. They'd have to shoot their own bags to get to him. They had stopped trying to sizzle me, so I stopped running. I decided this was worth watching. It started with a kind of ripping and some faint shrieks. As the Black Zepp was slowly torn apart by the cacti trees. I doubt those trees felt emotions, at least not like we do, but I figured somewhere in their sap they were feeling some satisfaction. They tore that sucker apart. As the gondola was ripped to pieces, their weapons came raining down through the branches. I started running again. At the edge of the forest, the Gypsy Queen and a smug Captain Stokey were hovering there waiting for me. I hear someone's planning something big for the coronation, Lulu. Yeah, very big. Where's it gonna be? Royal coronation balls. Royal coronation balls? Mm hmm What's it gonna be? An assassination? <laughs> no, nine. No bombs? Nine. No zaps? Nine. No boom? Nine. Then what? Deep pest. Deep pest? Yeah. The plague? Mm hmm You mean the plague that turned Aberdeen Dundee into the city of lost illusions? Yeah. And they're gonna unleash it here at the Royal Coronation Ball. Yeah. <laughs> Diabolical. How do you know this? I overhead. You overhead? I overhead Fuji. Who? Fox. Fook the fox, huh? Mm. You mean Burdock? Yeah. Who was he talking to? The Premier Minister. Prime Minister Humpty Dumpty? Humphrey Dumphrey. The little Corporean was right. Bartholomew Burdock and Humpty Dumpty are in it together. So, tell me, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, you like it when I call you a sweetheart? Ooh, yeah. I could spend the rest of my life doing that. So tell me, Lulu, uh, how do they plan to release the plague? I not know. But it will happen during the Royal Coronation Ball. Yeah, that circus. You mean carking cow putters traveling coronation circus and mechanical menagerie? Yeah, when the circus perform, yeah. When the circus perform, yeah. That's when they'll release the plague. Today, the city, tomorrow. The moon. They plan to infest the entire moon? No. No, not everyone, no. Oh, yeah, sure, not Burdock or Humpty Dumpty. But what about you? Will you be among the saved? I think not. This is why you I tell. You're telling me to save your own skin. Do you like my skin? I'll get to that later. Look, Lulu, see what you can find out about this circus infestation. Yeah, I'm done. What are you doing tonight? It is now night. So, what are you doing? No, I must go. Can't you spare an hour or so? No, no. You sure about that, sweetheart? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Or as Kapoor would say. 